There's already a mosquito in here. <laughs> Ooh, okay. How do I, I need a little swatter thing. Hello everybody, welcome back to Dr. Girlfriend. I'm Judy and I know it's been a while. Um, obviously, I'm not in my apartment. We are actually on location. Uh, I'm doing a little solo getaway as I always do and I'm gonna take you guys along for the ride. This is the the outhouse which houses the shower and the toilet. Um, let's see. The sink is seriously so small. This is like my hand and it can reach the end of the bowl basically. It's so tiny. And this, this is what they call compost toilet. This is how to use the toilet. I'm kind of nervous to use this and I'm kind of nervous to open it up to see like am I gonna see someone else's like poo or pee? I, I don't know. <laughs> okay give me a second I'm gonna read the instructions and then I'll muster up the courage to open up the lid. Okay so I took some time to read the instructions. I think it should act like a normal toilet but I'm gonna open it up and see. Oh my gosh. Ooh, let's um I'm gonna use some toilet paper to open up the lid. Okay, let's see. Oh, I'm kind of nervous. What did I just sign myself up for? Oh my god, I'm scared. Oh. Interesting. Okay. I guess um this is what they mean by like pee goes here and the poop goes there, but how are you supposed to control that? Like, how? Uh, you just sit farther back? I don't know. Hopefully, I don't have to take a number two. I mean, I'm just here for a day. So, I'm sure I'll figure it out. But okay, it's not as bad as I thought it was. Um, I seriously thought I was going to see, like, soil on the bottom and, like, poop. Someone else's poop. I, I kind of looked it up on Google because I didn't want to, you know, get surprised. But this is not bad. So it is dinner time. I'm eating like a meal prep type of meal that I brought from home. This yurt is kind of in the middle of nowhere so it's hard to just go and get food. So I came prepared and I have um, my factor meal. Today I'm eating chili braised 
shredded pork with cabbage pepper medley, roasted zucchini, and chimichurri aioli. And then I brought some salad to go with my meal. So I've been kind of on this kick of getting um, those meal service plans. Some you have to cook, but I decided to try Factor since it's already cooked for you. And so far it's really good. It tastes like restaurant quality food. So I wanted to talk to you guys about, you know, why I haven't been posting on my YouTube. Last year I committed myself to, I think, a year of the podcasting and it was such a good experience you know we had some really good podcast sessions i learned a lot uh, but it was getting to the point where i wasn't feeling inspired anymore i would say towards the end i was really trying to look for people who would agree to do the podcast with me the thing is i had a lot of topics that i was super interested in but oh my gosh this this table moves but anyway um i had a lot of topics that i was interested in but it's one thing to have a topic and it's another for you to um invite a guest who's comfortable enough to talk about it so after the one year mark i kind of stopped putting out um the podcast stuff and i focus more on my instagram um i'm very active on instagram so make sure you check it out it's a lot of it's geared towards a lot of dental stuff. Um, my life as a dentist, uh, whereas my YouTube is more of my hobbies, what I like to do outside of dentistry. And I think I want to keep it like that. <sighs> okay, it's getting kind of dark, so I'm going to probably start winding down for bed. Do you guys ever get like kind of grossed out um, thinking about what goes on on these beds you know whether you're staying at a hotel or an airbnb you know they say they clean their sheets and even if they do i mean the mattress is still the same right so i came prepared okay i brought my sleeping bag. So I'm gonna get this set up and then get ready for bed. It's nighttime, so I am going to make the bed. I have a certain way, ew. There's definitely staining, which is why I do this. Oh, can you see me? Anyway, like I was saying, when I go to a hotel, I always bring long sleeve, like, pants and long sleeve um, sweatshirts because I don't like for my skin to touch the bed even no matter how clean it is I just ugh, I just can't oh one thing I forgot are um, pillowcases I usually bring my own pillowcase but this time I forgot so we're gonna have to make something work okay I am just gonna sleep in here. Oh, I know what to do. I'm just gonna put the pillow like this. And then I'm gonna put this head part over it. Yes, yes, yes. And then they gave me some blankets, so I'm a little iffy about blankets as well, but at least this is kind of over my what you call it over my um oh i can't multitask over my sleeping bag yeah so i'm just gonna kind of crawl into here but first i have to, um but first i have to wash my face 
Okay, so here's the situation. Um, I realized that there's no hot water and you know how the bathroom is outside? I'm kind of scared to go outside right now because I heard some noises. So one, I can't use the restroom until tomorrow. And two, I don't have hot water. So I'm just gonna wash my face and brush my teeth with cold water. Okay, here it goes. Really cold water. I didn't hear any coyotes or any animals like last time I went glamping if you guys didn't see my other um, glamping solo trip it was actually like a tent where the only thing dividing me and the wilderness was a piece of tarp that one was scary this one wasn't bad at all I just heard like cut like maybe owls a couple animals thumping around right outside my door um, but other than that it was totally fine it wasn't too cold which I was worried about one thing that was a struggle last night was I really had to pee so bad but I was too scared to go outside because it was so dark and like I said I heard this like thumping right outside my door so I was like oh the animals are probably out so I avoided going to the bathroom since as you guys know the the outhouse is like not connected to the yurt so I'd have to like actually go outside and I was too scared to do that so I waited until this morning um I hope I don't get a UTI from that but yeah it was not bad at all so plans for today um i should probably get up i want to do i want to fit in like a little workout but at the same time i don't want to get too sweaty because i don't want to have to shower in freezing cold water so we'll see if i end up doing that and then i'm gonna go visit my friend who actually just lives maybe like 20 minutes away oh i'm getting a call it's my sister. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> what are you doing? She's watching the glamping um, other glamping video. Yeah, it, it wasn't as bad as um, that one where I was like, scared to sleep. <laughs> uh, I'll talk to you later. I'm going to call mom. Okay, bye. Uh, okay. Um. Anyways, what was I saying? I forgot. <laughs> Anyway, so last night wasn't too bad, but I should probably get the day started because I need to check out and then go see my friend.
everybody it's the second day and um the weather is great today yesterday was super cloudy but today the sun is out i'm actually gonna check out very soon but i just kind of wanted to talk to you guys about why i made the trip and what's kind of going on you know so originally i booked this about maybe two weeks ago it was a time where i was super stressed um with kind of everything um, and I sat down and I thought about what makes me happy and you know it was traveling and exploring being out in nature and spending time with my family and friends so that day I booked a ton of trips and I planned the next two months of just travel, visiting friends, spending time with my family, and doing stuff like this where I get to be out in nature and just really not so much disconnect um, because obviously I'm still using my phone, I'm still doing work. Um, I found that, you know, when people go to places like these, they, they want to disconnect, like no electronics, but for me, I think doing work, being productive, um, that makes me happy. So if that makes me happy, then I'm going to do a little bit of it when I'm out on these little staycations, if you will. So yeah, it was a short little stay. I don't know. I, I enjoy doing these things on my own. Um, sometimes I invite my friends if they're um, close by. But for the most part, I plan these trips as a solo trip. A lot of people ask me if I ever get lonely, but I spend a majority of my life doing things alone. So no, I, I don't mind it. But yeah, I sh what time is it right now? Yeah, it's 10.45. I need to check out at 11. So, um, thank you so much for joining me. As I said, I did plan a lot more trips throughout the next couple months, so stay tuned for more and i'll see you next time oh i see it oh, oh my god <laughs> did i get it i definitely made contact Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me on this little adventure. If you haven't seen my other solo glamping video, go ahead and click on the screen to watch it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check me out on Instagram at doctor.girlfriend. See you next time.